Hello everybody, this is Cap here, and I would like to welcome you to another C++ Containers tutorial video. So in the next two videos, we're going to be going over DEX. Yes, that is how it's pronounced. As a deck, as in a deck of cards. So, the first thing we're going to go over here is, of course, some constructors. And to save some time, I'm just going to copy and paste here. So, this first constructor is just going to make an empty deck. The second one here is going to make a deck with space for five elements. This one is going to make a deck with five elements with the initial value of three. And this is going to make a deck with the elements of DI2 copied into DI3. So a deck is a double-ended queue, which means we can push things onto the front, and we can also push things onto the back. So let's get rid of all these except for the first one here. And go over some member functions. So if we want to add something to our deck, we have two options. Well, really three, but two that I'm going to cover in this video. If we want to put something at the front of the deck, we can use push front. If we want to add something to the back, we can say push back. So let's say push back to di.push yeah, back four. And then let's say we want to push something onto the front. So we have di.push yeah, front. And you may have also noticed that I made this handy little print function up here. So let's go ahead and print this out. So as you guys can see, it pushed two onto the back and then it pushed four onto the back and then it pushed five onto the front. Also something worth noting here is that I did use the at method which is also available for a deck. And the at method is a safe alternative to just using the index because we can catch out of range exceptions. And with an index our program would just crash if it went out of range. So that is something to be aware of. So now that we've got a few elements in our deck, how would we go about getting them out of the deck? Well, we can use pop back and pop front. Say di dot pop back and di dot pop front and we'll add a blank line here just to make things easier to read so what this should do is pop four off the back and five off the front and we should be left with two and there you go so those are really the basics of how a deck works or how you can manipulate a deck not really how it works we're gonna go over how it works in the next video There's also a, another option, which is clear. So we say di.clear. This is just go going to completely erase all the elements in the deck. As you can see. 
So if you guys like this video, please let me know by hitting the like button. If you've seen a few of my videos and really like them, go ahead and subscribe so you can see when I post new ones. And I would like to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.